Ireland's most successful export on the continent in European competition. He's the group stage of the Europa League twice since 2016. Group stage of its equivalent now, the Europa Conference League would be a great achievement. There's plenty of good teams in this tournament. There's been a touch derided it in some quarters, in some cases from Dundalk players, but the opportunity to produce on the biggest stage against some of the biggest names and to ultimately try and lift one of the biggest trophies is motivation enough for most. Stepping forward is Gikhan Lee Bazaar. He's going to take one on from range. A great hit, you know. Oof, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? It's nice from McMillan. Told to get to his feet, though. It's a lovely ball from Bazaar. And he ball on the hoof here. It's T back for Gaboho. Good save of BB on the edge of coming in. Was Matus Barrow and blocked heroically by Boyle. Forward come the big man from the back. Good ball in too. It'll drop on the edge for Kelly. Oh, now Vitesse have a chance. Vitesse have a big chance. Five up in this attack. Only two defenders. It's Manhoof. And it's through. And there's the opening goal. It's Matus Barrow. And Vitesse leads in Arnhem. It's Barrow who had the chance a moment ago. This time made no mistake. Millian Manhoff with a searing run through the middle. And Dundalk really caught out here on this counter attack. Way, way too easy. Came through the ranks here at Vitesse, did Manhoof. And showed great composure there. As well as that searing pace through the middle. And Dundalk, have to reset. Still a long, long way to go in this tie, but after 20 minutes they trail. Shot from range, oh! And Patrick McElhaney. Oh. So good to see fans back in stadiums, isn't it? Oh, there comes a chance. Boho goes for the curler. Didn't quite get it right. Koskis did just about enough there. Made it. Boho with him. Sloggett cuts that out. Well, work to do for Dundalk here and for Vinnie Perth. Bazaar, lovely ball. Manhoff to challenge Leahy again. Vitek will swing it in early. Fredrickson underneath it. So too is Leahy. That's clever. It's Caboho. Manhoff has a little bit of space. Caboho. There is the skipper, Durkee. Manhoff from deep. Around the back is a pender and Vitek was there as well. Vitesse are really just creating opportunities at water again with Vitek. Looking for a pender but cut out by Sloggett. That's a bad place to give it away. Tronstadt and Lois a pender! Should have scored. 
should have scored. Massive let off for Dun it's Duffy to take it. Pedro is all too comfortable, really. Oh, here comes the counter attack again. Yanka Boho leading the charge on this occasion. McElhinney can't bring him down. Lovely ball. And that was Fredrickson. And that was a BB making a really good save. Oh, it is just 1 0. That goal, if you're just joining us, in the 19th minute, scored by Matus Bero on the break from a Dundalk corner. It's bizarre with another raking pass. Fredrickson will get on the end of it. Boho popping up everywhere. Gross is deflected and it will break for Barrow again, will it? Yes, it will. A BB the hero again. Still not away. And the referee is going to blow for a Dundalk free kick. Maximilian Vitek with another corner. Header from Durkey. Glanced wide. Another half chance, really. Vitek will take it. Rising is high. Yeah, can a BB tips it onto the bar? Just grew enough there. Once again, it's Vitek's corner. Now to start away. Got it back out to Vitek. He'll Fizz this in. Lee, he got a touch on it. Was all thought about the shot. Oh. Goodness me. What an effort this. Free kick for Tessa. It's a good ball. And somehow, somehow, Danilo Durki has conspired to miss that. Begging to be finished. And Durki just has to score the more and more opportunities that rack up though they end up wide of a BB's goal or saved by the Italian goalkeeper the longer Dundalk are interested what can they do in the final third here rare foray forwards shot will come in from range it breaks for slog it. oh it's a decent chance Best chance they've created in a long time. Great defending that from Sonny Natastad. Had to be. Bukowski's created some space. Oh, Holbaum with a chance to strike it. May still get another bite at the cherry. Teed up for McElhaney. That's a fairly comfortable save. Oh, Holbaum didn't get a, didn't get a hold of his first... McElhaney's cross, too much on it, comfortable for Marcus Schubert. And forward come. Vitessa on the counter. Bazaar. A ball. A pender. Two to aim out in the middle. One of them is Barrow. Blocked by Boyle. Might have saved the goal. Gaboho can't turn. Uh, Riquetli Bazaar once again. The for Tessa 11 out there at the moment at 29. It's a very, very bright and young team. They've really lit up the Garrow Dome here in Arnhem tonight. Leahy will swing in the cross. It's a good looking ball. It's an important header by Durkee. Hoban was lurking. Mikowska sends in another cross. That's a great header! Patrick McElhaney levels it for Dundalk. Manhoof. That's bizarre. Well stepped in by Stanton. Now then, massive chance for Dundalk. Streaking away. Patrick McElhaney. And still. And still. That is magnificent from McElhaney. Oh, 
Oh, it just goes to show what a what a great game this is at times. You just never ever know. Here's Tanan for Vitessa. Shot comes in, held by a BB. There's a Pender with the strike. Lee slid in on Oras, but and he goes back to Schubert. It's a leggy for Tessa on him right now. That's a little bit more like it. Squeezes it through. Nat stab with a nervy header. Chance! And Lois Appender levels it with two minutes to play. Sickner for Dundalk. But the man on loan from Bruges, who scored at the weekend, has done it again. Loose header from Natastad, but how well did he finish it? It's a brilliant finish from Lois Appender. And the young Belgian already endearing himself to those in yellow and black. It's a really unlucky one if you're Lois Appender. Either way, free kick to Vitessa. Vitek flights it in around the back and a BB gathers. Five minutes have been added on.